Hey everybody, it's been fucking ages since I did some Skyrim, so I'm just gonna continue off where I was beforehand. Um, in all seriousness, it's been ages, so welcome everybody to Tiny Tree Play Skyrim. I would be screwed if I know what episode it was. But in any case, the show must go on, so let's see if we can work it out. Is this even the right Dragon Claw? It's Bear Bear Dragonfly. I bet it isn't. No, it doesn't even look. No, it's not gonna be. This is gonna be one of those episodes. This is what happens when you just return randomly into Skyrim and you're still in a cave. I thought I completed this. My day isn't getting any better. Everything in my day has just been like messed up shit after messed up shit. So let's see. Let's let's check my quests. Return to the Bard's College. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not... I think I'm going to save myself the puzzle trouble and probably not get a chest as a result. So, that's what I'm going to do. Now I need to find my way out. So I'm going to cut away to myself outside. Oh, okay. Hey, everybody. I Do I have the right one? I don't have the right one. Okay, I do have the right one. What was it? It was Bear Bear Dragon Claw. Wait fuck's sake, let's see. Huh. I have someone's hip bone. Two eagles and, a dro and an insect, is that what I was putting in there? Oh no, it's this one, okay. So it's... Bear, eagle, bear. And some one more. Bear, eagle, Bear. Alright, let's see if this works now. It probably won't, knowing my luck. What? Since when was this gonna work? I haven't played this in ages. It's... Oh, okay, well... That shouldn't have worked, but somehow it did. I couldn't find my way out beforehand, which is why I cut away to this, is because... It was... It was interesting. I spent about ten minutes running around. Oh... Alright, I'm pulling out. Yeah, this is... This is happening. This is not going to be fun. Ooh, health potion. That's not a health potion at all. That's false advertising. Alright, let's see. Um, die undead person on fire. Uh, oh, well, I'm lighting them all on fire, which is bringing them to life. I didn't know I had that power, but apparently I do. Let's see. Look, it's a slightly more powerful undead person. Alright, I'm going to have to bring in my bow in a minute. Well, let's see, where's the bow? Well, I apparently don't have a bow in my quick saves, in my quick thingy, so I'm gonna favorite that. Where is it? Ancient Nord Bow, here we go. Well, he seems to be doing pretty much all the work at this point, which I'm alright with, because let's be honest, I'm a bit of a freeloader. Um, there's the slightly more powerful undead person again. See some arrows in him. Haha. -ha. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm. He sounds really angry. Really, really angry. Hmm. Take that. And that. God, my archery is low. It's despicable. It's good levels, though. It's a great way to level up that I'm finding, is just to use archery. Because you can't really die from archery, it feels like. When you're using, like, two-hand weapons and you're really low level, monsters just destroy you, so it's kind of hard to really do anything of useful. But, it's, you know, archery, stand back and just, you know, get a few shots. Eventually, you start doing enough damage to do anything, but... There we go. Hmm. There we go again. I'm almost level 9. Or level 10. I'm not really sure which it is, to be honest. Let's go up this way. It's going to be a boss fight, I assume. So I'm going to take this out. Yep. King Olaf One-Eye. Hmm. He 
seems to kind of like fire a lot. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but... Uh, I guess we have to kind of be happy with what we get. Do about half his health with the whole mana bar I have. Let's see if we can just... The good news is I'll probably get up a level from killing him with a bow, but... You know, it's taking a, it's going to take a while. I'll be here all day. I'll get out, Olaf. Apparently he can get struck by arrows. Hmm. There we go. Let's see if there's any nice loot. No, no. Oh, he's some treasury key, which I assume. Oh. <laughs> Unlock a new word. Word of power learned whirlwind will learn sprint. I haven't done the uh, main quest bit for it yet. I probably should do that at one point. Uh, is that a coin purse? Somebody's got a coin purse halfway in the ground. Anyways, let's go through this iron door here. Open this. Anything nice in here? Nothing really. So that, I guess. Coin purse. Yeah, that was that was an interesting experience, I guess. Let's see where we can go next. Out we go. I assume this will lead to the entrance. They usually do. Uh, close enough, it looks like. Let's see. Yep. Definitely close enough. Alright, so that was the King Olaf part. So I'm going to go teleport to solitude I think and then I'm going to hand in the quest I believe that starts the or well, that continues the bard's uh, tale quest chain I think off the top of my head I think that's what I'm doing it for I hope I'm right alright everybody welcome back I'm at the bard's college now this is going to be the hand in for King Olaf's verse ah, you, I have to admit I didn't think it would actually be there Let's take a look at this. Oh. oh no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable. Well, Bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Oh, oh God, I'm a songwriter for the moment. Betrayer, death dealing demon and dragon killing king, your legend is lies, lurid and false. What an awful poem. The cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye. He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? I find that highly unlikely. For Robin. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, solitude attacked winter hold, but Asgir seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? I'm going with the persuade parts, by the way, guys. It sounds funnier. No, that, that's pushing it too far. They're very exciting, but highly unlikely. I, I can't possibly write that in. Oh, okay. Well, we'll try this. It's not the most exciting answer, but the most likely. I'll write it in. It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Alright, so now we need to meet this man at the Blue Palace, and hopefully, if all goes well, we get to 
become a bard, basically, and all that sort of thing. I think I leveled up as well, so I'm gonna quickly level up here. Now, it's gonna probably do Magicka, I'm gonna go with. And let's see, can I... That's not important. It's not important, that's, that's definitely not important. I am 43. Okay, so I don't need that. So what should I put some thing into? Let's see, let's see what I've got in speech, actually. Let's see what's in speech. Nah, it's not that good. Uh, not pickpocket. What about sneak? Actually, light armor. Hmm. Does that include cloth armor, though? That's my thing. I'll start leveling it up, though. It's it's pretty good when you get to the, the highest level death. What is it? Um, Where you can just... Uh, I remember like the, the, like, the, like at the end, like heavy armor is useless because light armor actually like protects more and is quicker to use that sort of thing. So I've heard that it's actually much better for you to use it in the end. But I, I have no idea. We'll see. I just use random robes right now because I haven't really paid much attention to it. I really need to uh, get on to getting some more spells. Hopefully, I'll go to the college or something which can help me out with that. But I'm gonna go to the blue palace now and continue the quest chain. <laughs> I have, a, I have a cold or something, everyone, by the way. If you haven't noticed, that's why there's a little bit of sniffling. Not too much I can do, unfortunately. Hmm. What? I thought I was meant to come here for the quest. I met him here. Oh, let's, wait, let's wait an hour. There he is. Here goes nothing. Come on. Get on with it. I don't have all day to listen to bard's tales and songs about dragons and stuff. It's a cool story, bro. Needs more dragons. That's that's the immediate response everybody would give. Come on. Yes, come on. He's just looking at me faintly because I knocked him. I like how he's looking at me like just like... You can't see it, but he has... You know, his head tilted and all of that. Alright, so let's see. Why not? Alright, let's hear it. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king. Riveting stuff, isn't it? Capture of Newman I can always find time to share a word with a warrior. No shouting match between dragon and man. No fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf struck a deal to make himself king. Numenex let go, though none tell that tale. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell... I don't know what to say, this is just really bad poetry. Look at you and your smug face, and look at you, you're even worse. I'm scared I'm actually going to let go, and that won't be fun. That would save a lot of trouble, wouldn't it? There wouldn't be really be a solitude war anymore, would there? And I better put it away. See flames. And then went out to fight, but they reversed Olaf's orders, much to Winterhold's sorrow. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief, and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn. Yay! 
thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be moderately rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. That means us. Yay! So now we need to go back to the college, and uh, sorry about that, that silence for a minute. That was just not much you can really do while that poem's going on. But I need to go back to Jean at the college and uh, talk to him, and he will sort out the effigy for the upcoming Bard's College uh, festival, the Olaf's King Olaf's festival, something along those lines. We just killed his undead body. It seems a little much to go ahead and uh, do a what do you call it? Just do a an FSG burning at a festival on it. It seems a little much, doesn't it? No, well. They must really like the guy. I thought he was a bit cold, personally. Let's see. Alright, where's this John guy? Here he is. He's the one with a really bad haircut. Get the festival started when you do. Hmm. Alright, so now we need to wait until dark. So, six hours or so. And we'll talk to him again. And it'll begin the festival, which will be fun and that sort of thing. And hopefully we'll become a bard. I hope they give us a loot. Ah, the bard to be. Did Fiarmo send you? Yes, I just... I'll tell everyone we're ready. But we'll start the festival at dusk. It is dusk. It's 7.30 at night. Surely that counts as dusk. Whatever, wait another hour, I guess. He doesn't have a very good sense of time, clearly. Good, I'm just... Oh, it's... Come on. All right. Oh, it's a food. Honey tree. That sounds lovely. Oh, apple pie. Yes. There we go. Thank you, Bent, and Zavari and Evet. All right, and it begins. Hmm. I didn't know you could cook in this. Oh, I can make cooked beef. How fun. Alright, today I learnt. Hopefully this is going to start soon. Here we go. Here we go. That's not a very accurate representation of the person we were just fighting before. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Hold your applause, please. Oh, wow, they actually started clapping. I wasn't expecting that. But why? I don't think they do this every time, do they? I mean, I helped get it burning, but I didn't... That's not... I don't know. There's no hazing. The hazing with this is really weird. Wow, she's really into the clapping. Yes, congratulations. You are now Didn't take much seeing. But I thought there'd be more practice involved. Oh, cool. More quests. Oh, it's a weekly thing now. Oh, 
Oh, some gold. It's not bad at all. Who's making that noise? Anyways, I think that's going to be it. I think I think this is a good time to cut things off for today. I might do another episode tomorrow. It's been ages since I did Skyrim. But uh, that has been the Bard's Tower quest. My name is Scientry, teachergaming.com, YouTube, no, youtube.com slash teachergaming, that's what you call it. And uh, thank you everybody. For